one question that I get a lot, and you probably get this too, is from guys asking about like, how can I get into the industry and mm-hmm. that kind of thing. So for you as a performer, what are the qualities in a male performer that you look for that like is somebody that you want to work with again? Um, I'm going to bring him up again because I think he's awesome. Hollywood Cash kind of embodies this mm-hmm. where uh, you need to be able to, one, physically do the job, which yeah. I know sounds great when you're thinking about the fantasy of it, but it's really physically demanding. When um, you're working in a warehouse in the summer with no air conditioning, yeah. <laughs> that's um, your test. Right, because your first scene might not be your your favorite star in your favorite situation and being able or to she may exactly. not like you she may not like you um yeah. you you're gonna have a room full of people who are all staring expectantly at you waiting for you to get your card and then waiting for you to in a timely manner um yeah. and from positions that aren't going to be catered to what feels best to you it's going to be about what looks best on camera and sometimes things just flow really beautifully and those two can be one and the same more often than not you're going to have to be fucking at an angle you're going to be doing positions that aren't the most comfortable and you need to be able to stay hard and eventually come throughout all of that so the the actual job itself is a lot more physically and mentally demanding than i think a lot of guys realize and then past that you have to be able to put your ego aside in a lot of situations if your dick isn't working the one of the worst things a guy can do on set is pretend like it's not happening or get mad at the girl or try to put the blame on somebody else. Mm -hmm. You need to be able to just say, hey, things aren't working. I need a second to get some water. I need a second to calm down. Let me look at something on my phone like or or ask your co-star politely, like, can you tug on my balls a little bit? Or Or worst case scenario, just mm -hmm. call it. Or just call it. Be like, this isn't happening Exactly. I've seen there... There are a lot of guys who end up having a bad day on set. Bodies are weird. Brains are weird. It happens. It's not a huge deal. It's not. We're not going to be like, oh, this guy fucking sucks. He can't use his dick. Yeah. Eventually, the guy's going to end up having a bad day on set. The worst thing that he can do is pitch a fucking fit about it. Mm-hmm. If a guy can just be honest and be like, hey, I'm sorry. It's just not working. I'm going to go ahead and call it so you can try to get somebody else. Or say, uh, I love it when a guy will stop and say, hey, what you're doing to my body is not really what is doing it for me right now. Can you switch it up? Like, lessen the hand grip or tug my balls harder like Mm -hmm. tell me what you need Mm -hmm. and communicate um and if you have a big ego and you just want to come in and be the big tough man that like fucks everybody into oblivion that's going to be really tough for you to do yeah um and then past that it's being able to be professional um you can't just so show up on set and expect your co-star or co-stars to just be available to you sexually um you can't just go and start trying to get them to suck your dick while you're there getting their makeup done. If they're doing pictures and stuff, you, you can't just like come up and grab them. You can't get to do every position that you want to do. Um, so even though this should be a fun and safe and comfortable job as much as possible, it, it's not about feeling good. It's, it's about It's performing. not about your pleasure. Yeah. Exactly. So expecting your scene partner, your coworker, to be your escort for the day is not professional. <laughs> um, and we're seeing a lot of discussions about that online of where the line is between enjoying what you're doing and using porn as a way to get laid. Mm-hmm. Um, and it's really difficult because you want people to be excited to work with you. Like I, I want my co-stars to be attracted to me and be excited to put their penis inside of me. Mm-hmm. But <laughs> at the same time, like it, we're not on a date. Yeah. We're, I'm not your escort. So there, you can't come in with certain expectations you have to come in with the mindset of this is a job Mm -hmm. um and i feel like being able to do it physically um know how to be respectful know how to perform in a way that's not only great for your co-star but also for yourself a lot of guys especially in straight porn they don't want to do solo videos or cater to their male fans at all and i feel like that's kind of fumbling a bag Mm. um like most of the people who pay for porn are going to be men um both straight and queer yeah so if you're not comfortable doing any sort of fan service to them then that's your right i'm not saying that you should do it anyway even if you're uncomfortable but if you're cool with doing it you should probably do a couple of jerk off videos, dude. Like you should be able to build your own brand. A lot of dudes will get into amateur porn now, especially just thinking that they can just go and fuck a bunch of girls. But if you want to treat it as an actual job and make money off of it, what's going to be best is to create your own personal brand and your own personal fan base. So posting your own pictures, posting your own solo videos, making it so if people are coming to your page, and they want to see porn, they're coming to look at your porn specifically, not all the girls that you're working with Mm -hmm. because cancellations happen, things fall through. Like it's, you're not always going to have a steady supply of women, but if they're a fan of who you are and you can post a solo, you can post a couple of selfies and they're just as happy as if you post a boy girl, that's going to be better for you than if you come into porn 
using it as a way to fuck porn stars and then you have a month where everyone's canceled last minute or you popped on your test and now you have no content to upload and all your fans are leaving you because they weren't there for you. They were there for all the girls you're trying to fuck. Yeah. Um, so that's like a whole new element with like the world of OnlyFans. Yeah, that that's up. true. And look, like, you know, you can tell yourself that it's women who are buying your content <laughs> and jerking off to your videos. I mean, whatever. Yeah. You know. Hey, women watch porn too. Um, but when it comes to people who are paying for it, it's overwhelmingly men. Oh my God, overwhelmingly men. I mean, mm -hmm. even just this, my podcast alone, it's 96% male audience. Mm -hmm. People are always surprised by that because <laughs> I'm a woman, so they like think it's women. I'm like, no, mm -hmm. no. Very few women watch this show. Mm -hmm. So there you go, guys. I, I thought that was actually some really good, insightful advice. Mm -hmm. So thank you for that. <laughs> Hello, my amazing listeners. You know how much I love bringing this podcast to your ears every week. So if you're looking a way to support the show and get some fantastic perks, I've got just the thing, my Patreon page. With plans starting at just $5 a month, you can be part of our exclusive community. Your support not only helps to keep this podcast going, but it also unlocks some really cool bonuses. Imagine getting access to the live streams of my interviews as they happen. You'll be right in the middle of the action, seeing all of the unedited moments. But that's not all. As a Patreon member, you'll also get exclusive bonus content. I'm talking extra mini episodes where our guests answer questions submitted by you. Plus, you'll have access to my fine art photography and behind the scenes videos, giving you a sneak peek into my creative process. And guess what? If you opt for a discounted year-long membership, you'll save even more while supporting the show. Longtime subscribers even get free HRU merchandise as a token of my gratitude. So want to join us? Head over to patreon.com slash hollyrandallunfiltered and become a part of our growing community. Your support means the world to me. Let's make this podcast even better.